Hi, uh, we'll get to the actual video that's in the title in a second, but I just want to say something in light of everything that's going on, and that's Black Lives Matter. If you are one of the people that are like, all lives matter, yes, you're not technically wrong, but due to how society views African American people and black people around the world, you actually have to add matter because they're not treated as they do in a lot of situations, which is really horrible. And so Black Lives Matter, I am in support of the peaceful protests, um, less in support of the riots, but you have to get a message across somehow sometimes, right? Um, I am definitely in support of the protests like, to end police brutality and for peaceful rioting to hopefully like bring meaningful change in this area. So that's all. And Black Lives Matter, I will put some links down below about how to donate to this cause if you are able. And if you are not able because you don't have money, there will be a link down below for you as well. So thank you. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey YouTube, I am back and I'm going to do a couple tags. Um, they'll be two separate videos, but I'm going to film them both right now. Um, because I'm like, I'm obviously new to booktube, so... I found some fun tags that I thought would be pretty interesting, and I'm gonna do them with you. This video, like the title on YouTube that you probably saw, is the Dinner Party Book Characters tag. Um, so there is 10 questions, and I'm just gonna go through that. And I might validate some characters or not. Unclear at this point. Um, so the first question is a character who can or likes to cook. I am gonna go with Rock. He is a member of Bridge Four and uh, in the Way of Kings book, which is the first book of the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. As part of Bridge Four, the Rock character is the group's cook. And this Bridge Four group is like, they're basically slaves and they have to carry the, the fourth bridge for one of these lords. Um, as they're going to fight, they basically have to carry these bridge on their backs in front of all the troops so they're getting like shot at and stuff the whole time. It's a whole experience. I tend not to recommend those books and basically everything I've read by Sanderson, but Rock is my character who can and enjoys cooking. Can cook and likes cooking. The second question is a character with the money to fund a party. I can think of none better than um, the great Jay Gatsby from The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. He basically, the entire book, this character is throwing parties to try and impress this girl. So he's clearly funded enough to throw a party for some book characters. The third question is a character likely to cause a scene. I had a hard problem with this question, just I don't know why, but I basically am selecting two characters and it's Percy Jackson and Leo Valdez because they're like the demigod children and they all have ADD and just like generally, and Leo Valdez is his own sort of like excitable. Leo is in the second series, it's the one where they I think it's 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 not the Heroes of Olympus. I forgot what the spinoff series is, and Percy Jackson's obviously in both of the series related to Greek and Roman gods. So they are likely to cause a scene at a party. Not too bad, but a scene nonetheless. And the fourth question is a funny or amusing character for, you know, like the comic relief of the party. I'm obviously choosing none other than the Weasley twins to be funny, amusing, and entertaining at this dinner party. I don't think I need to give an explanation for that, but just in case you haven't read Harry Potter or seen the movies, they are two very rambunctious kids, um, hellbent nearly on, um, like, just making everything more fun. There's obviously, like, they go about it different ways, but they ultimately, like, create a store where they just sell, like, things for pranks. So I feel like they would be a good fun addition to the dinner party. Um, the super social butterfly character, uh... I'm going to give to Lydia Bennett from Pride and Prejudice. Uh, she is such a social butterfly that she goes out of her way and, el spoiler alert, um, elopes and runs away with a man in a Victoria Victorian era England time period where that is not super socially acceptable. But at every party, she's the one who uh, dances around and goes and like drapes herself off of all the guys and all that stuff like that. So she's definitely a social butterfly. Butterfly. The sixth question is a villain. Um, I have a Stephen King section that you can see a little bit. Um, so I picked my 
villain from that. I don't know if I'd want this man at a dinner party or any of the Stephen King villains at a dinner party. But this one in particular is probably the most like twisted in the head villain from the Stephen King books that I've read at least. It is Brady Hartsfield from Mr. Mercedes. Uh, so I'm not going to give a lot of details about him because I don't want to talk about it because he's a really gross character, but he is definitely a villain. The, like, the plot of that book is that he drives a, a stolen Mercedes into a crowd of people and kills all of them. I don't think he would be a great addition to the dinner, dinner party, but he's definitely a villain, so if we had to have one, I mean, a cop ends up, like, making him, like, get arrested and stuff, so, uh, hopefully stuff is resolved at this party. Uh, and maybe he doesn't even have to come, but I had to pick a villain, so. The seventh question is a couple, and it can be ro romantic or platonic, um, just a couple, a pair of people to attend the center party. I'm sorry, I'm just like, wait, I'm very handsy talkative today. Um, I am choosing Shadow Moon and Laura Moon from American Gods, uh, by Neil Gaiman. Uh, they are definitely a couple. It is not perfect for them. She does cheat on him and then die very early in the book, so it's not a spoiler. But, yeah, so I... I, for what I can tell, the TV show explored her character more than the book does. They were fun, at least for a little while. So, that is a couple I'm picking for this dinner party. The eighth question is an underrated or underappreciated character. Uh, I also had a problem with, I, I didn't have a problem with this question. I just, it was harder for me to, like, come up with something. Um... But really a very underappreciated character, and obviously he's like a side character in the story, but he should get a lot more credit than he deserves is Isaac, don't actually know his last name, from The Fault in Our Stars. He is uh, Gus's best friend, and he's there for a lot of the activities and stuff that like Hazel, Gus, and Isaac get into, but uh, he definitely deserves more credit because he like went through some stuff, and it kind of, it's a book about kids who have like cancer and life-threatening issues so it's he gets a little bit of focus but he doesn't get nearly as much as the other two do so I would say he's underappreciated and one hero or heroine to defeat the villain at the same dinner or just a I added the to defeat the villain it doesn't really apply anymore but a hero or heroine that I chose is a heroine uh, her name is Shalon Devar she's also from the Stormlight Archive uh, she is great uh, she is such a unique female character in a fantasy novel, uh, and I really just think that she is truly a heroine. She, like, is highly in intelligent. She can use a sword in, like, the second and third book. She basically, like, creates alter egos for herself, and it's in it, that's, like, a little bit of into getting into the magic system and how her p particular powers work, but... She basically can create an alter ego for any kind of situation. And she is one of the heroes, at least in the first three books, for that. So I think she could definitely be a hero for the party. And then any random character was the last question. Number 10, a random character that I'd like to add. Um, and just because I want to give this um, children's book series, it's, it's not quite young adult. I think that might be called middle grade book series, more recognition. It's one of the first book series that I have ever read, and I absolutely loved it. Um, and I've reread it, the whole 10 book series, like 12 times probably in my life. Most recently, like last year, and I have I am a college graduate, so infer my age with that, if you will. It's definitely not limited to children's reading. Um, so my random character is Bobby Pendragon from the Pendragon series. The first book is called Merchant of Death. It is a... I, I kind of would call it sci-fi fantasy, more on the sci-fi side of it, because it is, it takes place in, like, the modern setting for when the books were written, which I think was, like, the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, I know the last book came out probably around 2010, because that's when I, I, I know I had to wait for the last three or four books in the 10 book series, but basically you follow this character, Bobby Pendragon, and he is a traveler, and he has to go and... It's his job, because each of the planets in this, like, universe have a traveler pair, almost. Like, they have the elder traveler and then the, the new generation of traveler that's rising up to go. And they have to hop around and save all of these different planets um, from the 
uh, evil character in that book, which is Saint Dane. It's a really, it's, and the, the time, the, the way they travel through, like, it's really hard to explain, but it's a glorious book and I really want people to read it. So that is why he's my random character, because I haven't ver met very many people who have ever heard of or read those books, but they are definitely worth the time. The author is DJ McHale, and it is The Merchant of Death is the first one. That is all I got for y'all today on my dinner party tag for book characters. So I hope y'all enjoyed my video. I will also be doing a couple other upcoming videos and I'm going to probably start doing book reviews as I read them. Unsure yet of what that's going to look like, but if you have any comments or suggestions for what y'all want to see on the channel, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.